Carotenoid Research Carotenoids represent a diverse group of pigments widely distributed in nature. They contribute to the red, orange and yellow colors found in many flowers, fruits and vegetables. Carotenoids are important not only to those organisms where they are synthesized but also to animals and humans. Carotenoids have long been recognized as essential nutrients and important health beneficial compounds. As animals and humans are unable to synthesize carotenoids de novo, they have to depend on diet for these essential products. Pro-vitamin A carotenoids such as beta-carotene and alpha-carotene provide the primary dietary sources of vitamin A. The deficiency of vitamin A is one of the most noticeable nutritional problems in many parts of the world and affects an estimated 250 million children under 5 years of age. An estimated 190 million of preschool age children and 19 million pregnant women do not have enough vitamin A in their daily diet and can be classified as vitamin A deficient. Furthermore, another 5.2 million preschool age children suffer from clinical vitamin A deficiency. The highest prevalence and numbers are found among countries of Sub Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia, where more than 40% of preschool age children are estimated to be vitamin A deficient. Recent WHO estimates indicate that vitamin A deficiency is a clinical problem in 45 countries and a subclinical problem in 122 countries. Several yellow to orange vegetables contain a high amount of pro-vitamin A carotenoids which are the predecessors to vitamin A. Two methods of alleviating vitamin A deficiency are through biofortification of food products and providing dietary supplements such as vegetables and fruits. We have to include a lot of vegetables and fruits in our diet. Such vegetables and fruits that contain a high amount of carotenoids are tomato containing 0.09 mg of vitamin A, carrots containing 0.6 mg of vitamin A, Capsicum containing 0.02 mg of vitamin A. Two success stories that can bring about eradication of vitamin A deficiency are about rice and maize. Golden Rice Rice plants synthesize beta-carotene in vegetative tissues but not in grains. By the addition of two genes, beta-carotene is accumulated in the endosperm. The first transgene encodes phytoene synthase which utilizes endogenously synthesized geronyl geronyl diphosphate to form phytoene. The second gene encodes a bacterial carotene desaturase that conjugates by adding four double bonds. The combined effect of these two genes leads to the formation of lycopene which branches into carotenoids by the action of lycopene beta cyclase and lycopene epsilon cyclase. Hence, high amounts of pro-vitamin A is accumulated. The new golden rice accumulates up to 31 micrograms per gram of beta carotene. High beta carotene maize. Now let us see the story on maize. A research on maize shows that maize displays natural variation for carotenoid composition including provitamin A. Three polymorphisms in the gene encoding beta carotene hydroxylase 1 were identified as 5-TE, indel 4 and 3-TE. Using these in PCR based marker systems added with the use of donor lines, the favorable beta carotene hydroxylase 1 and lycopene epsilon cyclase alleles 
can be introgressed into indigenous germ plasms to produce locally adapted varieties achieving target concentrations of provitamin A in the grains. This maize accumulates up to 8 micrograms per gram of beta protein. Considering maize as such an important food crop, carotenoid research have been extensively carried out on it. Any carotenoid research would involve identification and quantification of carotenoids in any given sample. For such an analysis, high-performance liquid chromatography is commonly used. The amount of carotenoids is accurately quantified using HPLC. First, the standard for carotenoids is run in the HPLC, followed by the actual sample to be quantified. The concentration of carotenoid was calculated using the observed peak for carotenoid. Researches go on in every part of the world every day. People discover and create things never-endingly. But on top of all this, it depends on us whether we want to accept change or not. Hence, be wise, relax and accept the good and the truth. Thank you.